Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Nicaro Custom Guitars. So, a couple of videos ago, you saw me disassemble this guitar. And the last thing that I need to remove from this guitar is the truss rod. So it's not that I'm cheap, that I don't want to buy a new truss rod. Basically, there's a good functional truss rod in this guitar. And it's a waste throwing um, the truss rod away with the whole guitar. Nowadays, with the shipping and stuff, you, you have to spend like 15 euros for a truss rod. Kind of. So, why not? So, most of you are thinking, well, you have to remove the fretboard first. And, right, because I'm not a magician. And if that's what, in fact, what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to remove the fretboard and hopefully and safely um, remove um, that truss rod. So let's roll the intro and we can begin. There are two ways you can handle this operation. There is the sophisticated way, which will have a nice heating pad um, made appropriately for this kind of job. You let it rest on the fretboard, wait a couple of minutes, and then gently raise the fretboard out of the neck. And then there is the other way, which I call the YOLO way, which you get a nice heating iron, crank it up to full, and let it rest on the fretboard for a couple of minutes or until you see the glue of the frets boiling up and then gently, or you can YOLO it as well, you can brace the fretboard out of the neck. Well, guess which method I'm going to use? You guessed it right, I'm going to use the YOLO way. Hold up, a little disclaimer. Do this operation at your own risk. Now, I'm removing the fretboard because I need the truss rod and I'm scrapping down the guitar. But if you have a broken truss rod in one of your favorite guitars, you can always do this operation with caution. You pay more attention, even more attention, than what you're about to see. And you can do this operation um, safely without doing much damage to your favorite guitar. But this is a completely different story. Now, I want to make sure that the neck is well rested, because we'll be doing some force on it. And I'm going to take my heating iron, make sure that it's so full. And then wait a couple of minutes. Okay, let's see if we have some movement. I have an edge which goes in. Let's see the other side. Yep, but it will take some more heat. As you can see, I have the knife between the fretboard and the neck. I'm not breaking any wood fibers. So you see, you can easily and safely do this. Supply more heat. I never said it was going to be easy. Um, it's not difficult, but sometimes it, it will get uh, very tedious. But again, it's not that difficult. 
and it's not easy. Now, if your fretboard is glued with resin, with epoxy, I don't think this method will work. I don't think heating up will actually work. Just bear in mind that. In the front of the fretboard, I have some issues here. I remember the time I used to use um, broken staples as a locating pin for the fretboard. So I'm hitting something hard at the front. So for now, I'm continuing um, my way at the back of the fretboard. And probably I'm going to find the same thing at the back. Um, so yeah. That's a little update. Okay, so here it is, my newly acquired uh, truss rod, just need some little cleanup, still good, there's some um, surface rust, but that's not a big deal. I managed to remove the fretboard without considerable amount of damage, um, in fact, there's a little piece here which stayed with the body, but that's not a big deal. If you're asking, this is um, Paduk, which will, which will make nice material for inlaying. Um, yeah, this went very well. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. If you're new to my channel, if you're enjoying what you see, please I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. I'll do CNC and guitar building related content. Share this video with your friends, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. This will help my channel a lot. If you want to see more about my micro custom guitars, down below uh, you'll find links to my socials and other means and ways of supporting my channel. So guys, until the next time, take care and goodbye.